Hello everyone and welcome to Jojo's Break Time. I'm playing dress ups today because I will be showing you the Harry Potter Hogsmeade Village set. Wow, look at this. There are seven minifigs in this set and one of them is the gold Ron Weasley. Let's spin around and take a closer look inside. We have four mystery purple tiles and so much detail inside. Okay, let's build. There are six packets in this set and look at these stickers of the three broomsticks. I'm excited and oh no, it's bent. Oh, I hope they go on all right. Here's the two instructions. And look, I had to show you, there is a hot dog tree. I need to buy a hot dog tree. Where can I find one of these? Packet one, and we will begin with trying to open it. Okay, there we go. Get all this Lego out. So I'll begin with the gold Ron Weasley statue. And he's in his Gryffindor outfit. And look at him, all gold and 20 years of Harry Potter Lego. Here's Harry Potter himself and he has a cranky face. And that's what I look like when I can't find a Lego piece. Go on, cranky Harry. Now let's build the Honey Duke's confectionery shop, which is a must stop for visitors to Hogsmeade Village. This shop sells lots of colourful sweets, including acid pops, exploding bonbons, peppermint toads, fudge flies, and fizzing whizbees, and everything else you can imagine. I love the colour of this lolly stand. And here is a chocolate fountain, but I wish they made it a little bit more detailed, more of a chocolate fountain. Here's the wall panels with lots of detailed stickers in there with lollies as far as the eye can see. Bag number two. What magic is in here? All oh, the curved windows. I found Mrs. Flume and she's in a pink and purple outfit with some candy printing on both sides. Off you go, go stand over there. I love the detail of these curved windows. Wish they were printed, but you know, the sticker will do. Just finishing off the two fireplaces here in the Honey Duke's attic. Oh, we have a little box here, but nothing inside. We'll pop it up for storage. And here's the roof panels that are going up here on the sides. They were actually not too bad to click in place. Bag number three and what's in there? Oh, those bowls. I love those bowls. I need more of those. And I have just noticed my mini figs have appeared suddenly. Spooky magic. And my purple tile of Albus Dumbledore. Here is Mr. Flume with a sour look on his face and a purple cap. I'll be finishing off this attic with some details inside.
Here are the front roof panels and these ones, yep, they're okay to put on too. I'll spin this around now to finish off the detail in the shop. And here's a little cash register and a little scale. And here's the display cabinet of some lollies and toys inside. I wish they made that so you could actually put things inside it. And now the two chimneys on top. And minifigs have appeared magically again. Ah, oh, Harry Potter magic! We have a nice detailed street lamp, I like that. And now I'm doing the little bench seat to put out the front of the shop. Harry's going to test it out and Mrs. Flume as well. She's been working hard in the shop. And now we are doing the sign of Sirius Black Wanted Poster. Yeah, I like that. I want to go inside this lolly shop. I can't wait to check it out. And purple tile of Helga Hufflepuff. All right, now it's the three broomsticks turn and I will be opening bag number four. Madam Ross Mert has been put together now and I love her crazy wild hair. All righty, the three broomsticks is under construction. Here we have the bench seating and table so we can sit down and enjoy our drinks and this is the bar and I'm putting a little candle on here and here's a stickered panel that's going behind the bar and this is on the other side and it's got the pictures of broomsticks a stickered door with the three shrunken heads And here's a pair of antlers that's going above the door. Okay, now a little lamp out the front and a sign of the three broomsticks. Bag number five and I see a purple tile inside. I wonder which one it's going to be. Alrighty, so we have Professor McGonagall going on and I'm popping her hairpiece on and her wand. Alright, off you go Professor, do some magic. And here's the green couch, I'll just pop a tile on there and it's going inside the inn and a little table there. And some window pieces. Here is an inbuilt little drawing cabinet with a little candle. Here is the purple tile of Olympe Maxime. Bag number six, final bag. And oh, I see a purple tile here too. And we have Nicholas Flamel from Fantastic Beasts. Now I'm putting together Dean Thomas. He's got some gloves on and a wand.
the three broomstick sign with another pair of antlers out the front for some detail. Okay, so now we have the roof panels out the front. Pop them in. They were a bit tricky to put on, so some patience is needed. Alrighty, these front uh, roof panels, they're quite difficult to put on, so take some time, so, uh, otherwise they do fall apart. They look great. Um, yeah, there, there we are, they're on. These roof panels are going above the inn here. See, it is a little bit tricky to click in. But it's all right. They look good. They're just difficult. There we are. All done. And the chimney stacks on both sides. The village is complete and there's Ron, the gold statue. Hey, Jojo. Hi, Harry. What should I get from the sweet shop? Try the acid pops. Okay. I will taste them. If I can get inside. He he he, she's gonna burn a hole through her tongue. He he he. Hello dear, what would you like? Um, could I try some acid pops? Oh, okay, sure. Here you go. Oh wow, I can't wait to taste these. Oh, I'm not sure. Ugh. He's got a sour look on his face. Oh, I don't know if these acid pops taste good. Hey Jojo, how are the acid pops? Oh, not very good. I think I'm going to have to try some butterbeer. May I please order one butterbeer? Sure thing, love. Here you are. Oh, oh, that's not good. Why don't you go sit upstairs in the inn? Oh, okay. Oh, too much butterbeer. I need to rest in this comfy green armchair. Oh, wow, that's way better now. How are you feeling, dear, after that butterbeer? I must be dreaming. There's a gingerbread house. Oh, hello, Jojo. Yes, hello. You're not dreaming. And lights are gone off and on. <laughs> Here's Harry and Dean's coming to take a look at the gingerbread house. So one of the reasons why I bought Hogsmeade Village is because it ties in so beautifully with the gingerbread house and it could be a beautiful Christmas scene. Harry is being naughty and throwing snowballs at Madame Rosmerta and Professor McGonagall. My cat has somehow entered the lolly and toy cabinet and I rescued him and now we're having a cuddle by the fire. The Lego Harry Potter Hogsmeade Village set has 851 pieces and I love the detail of these little buildings. I love the stickers. I know some of you wanted things to be brick built but for this price point I think it is quite detailed. And you can have it in your little Christmas village setup or just in a different part of your city. So everyone, get your bricks out, get building and get creative.